This is Thursday, January 21st, math lesson. Our objective today is I can compare fractions with same and different numerators and denominators. We already know how to compare numbers using the greater than, less than, and equal to symbols. And we can use these same symbols with fractions too. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be comparing fractions using these symbols. If fractions have the same denominator, the fraction with the greater numerator is the larger fraction. So let's look at like some examples. First, let's think about this. Both of these cakes are cut into eight slices each. On the left-hand side, I ate four out of the eight pieces. On the right-hand side, I ate two out of the eight pieces. Again, both cakes have eight pieces total, but on the left, I ate four pieces, and on the right, I ate two pieces. So which cake did I eat more of? This one. So I want to compare these fractions with the same denominator. I want to use one of these symbols to compare them as well. So there's a reminder here at the bottom. If my fractions have the same denominator, then the fraction with the larger numerator is the greater fraction. So here I'm comparing 2 fourths and 3 fourths. Let's think about food again. If I have a cake and they're both split into four pieces, on the first cake I only ate two pieces, but on the second cake I ate three pieces, which cake did I eat more of? Three-fourths. Three-fourths is greater. I ate more of that cake. Here, again, both of my denominators are 10, so the fraction with the larger numerator is the greater fraction. Again, let's think of food. 10 pieces of cake on two different cakes. I ate six pieces on the first cake. You ate four pieces on your cake. So who ate more? Me. Six tenths is greater than four tenths. Here I have the same denominator again, ninths. The larger numerator is the greater fraction. If I ate two ninths of a cake and you ate seven ninths of a cake, who ate more? You did. Two ninths is less than seven ninths. Let's look at one more where we have the same denominator. This time, both of my denominators in, this fra in these fractions are sevenths. In the first one, I have six sevenths. The second fraction, I have four sevenths. So which one is greater? Six sevenths. If I ate six sevenths of the cake, you can think about it this way too. I almost ate the whole cake. Seven sevenths would be one entire cake. So six sevenths is a pretty big fraction. Four sevenths though is less than six sevenths. So we just looked at examples where all the fractions had the same denominators. But what happens if the two fractions have different denominators and the same numerator? If fractions have the same numerator, the fraction with the smaller denominator is actually the larger fraction. So let's think about it with food once again. These pizzas both have three slices that were eaten, but which pizza allowed me to eat more? On the left here, I have three fourths. So I had four pieces of pizza here and I ate three. On the right here though, I have six pieces of pizza and I ate three. So I ate three pieces in both pizzas, but which pizza allowed me to eat more? Three-fourths. Even though my denominator is smaller here, this is actually the larger fraction. Think of it again compared to one whole. Three-fourths is almost one whole, right? Four-fourths would be my one whole. So three-fourths is pretty close to one whole. Three-sixths, though, looks like it's just about half of a pizza. So this is actually backwards. If fractions have the same numerator and different denominators, the fraction with the smaller denominator is actually larger. So let's look at 3 fifths and 3 sevenths. In this example, 3 fifths is larger, even though my denominator is smaller. Think about it like this. Five pieces of pizza and I ate three, that's pretty close to the whole, 
But if I had seven pieces of pizza and I ate three, there's still quite a bit of pizza left. I didn't eat that much. So three-fifths is larger. Let's look at two-tenths and two-eighths. You and I both ate two pieces from our cake. But my cake had 10 pieces, your cake only had eight pieces. So who technically ate more? You did. Two tenths is less than two eighths. So this is opposite from what we did earlier. Next we have four fifths and four sevenths. We both ate four pieces of cake. My cake had five pieces though and I ate four. I almost ate the whole cake. Your cake had seven pieces and you ate four pieces. You still have three pieces left. In this example, four-fifths is larger than four-sevenths. Let's look at one more example, three-sevenths and three-fourths. Again, my numerators are the same and the rule here is that the fraction with the smaller denominator is actually the larger fraction. So which fraction has the smaller denominator here? Three-fourths. 3 sevenths is less than 3 fourths. The exit ticket is going to be on Edge Elastic. If you don't feel comfortable doing it yet until we meet at 3 o'clock, that's fine. I know this is uh, kind of tricky, especially learning it over, um, you know, watching a video versus learning it in person. So if you want to hold off on doing the exit ticket, that's fine. I will be on WebEx at 3 o'clock to review more of this because this can be tricky. If you want to at least try the exit ticket and you don't do very well, then I can reassign it to you and we can work through it together again at 3 o'clock. If you have any questions regarding this, please let me know. Like I said, I know this can be a tricky lesson to do virtually.